On day one, I spawned inside of a giant fence area as a fire T-Rex. In front of me stood both of my parents. Wait, why am I different than you guys? Oh no, his experiment worked. Son, listen to us. You are very special, Fozo, but whatever you do, don't listen to Director Claw. Director Claw? Who's that? Just then, a man stepped inside of our enclosure. Perfect. My next pet, the Fire T-Rex. You shall be separated from your family at once and be in my complete control. What? No way! Without hesitation, the director used a special weapon and killed my dad! Dad! I charged at him and tried to attack him with my fire bite, but he used his enhanced weapon and pushed me away. Stupid pest. You were born for one reason. To serve me. Now obey before I kill your mother too. Bozo, run! I listened to my mom. I used my fire ability to bite open the fence area. Man, seize him! Oh no, I ran out of his huge operation, only to see a jeep driving straight towards me. I need to run! On day two, the jeep was closing in behind. I kept running before darting into the brush of the forest. Breathe, Bozo. Breathe! You couldn't have gotten that far, dinosaur. Show yourself. I thought I was safe, but the leaves around all started to catch on fire. Ah! My position was exposed. There you were. Surrender. Director Claw's worker started to shoot at me. Oh, no. I have to think. Suddenly, an idea popped in my mind. Using my fire skin, I ran around the bushes of the jungle until a ring of fire surrounded the worker. Ha! Take that! While he was distracted, I made a run for it. Report to the director. The T-Rex escaped. Prepare for plan B. I was moving fast. I needed to leave the jungle ASAP. That's when I found an entryway that led me to a strange valley. Whoa. On day three, I entered inside. This place looked so peaceful. Before I could really take in the scenery, I heard a loud roar going off in the distance. I guess not. I ran over, only to see a mammoth being attacked by a squad of tiny magma velociraptors. This is our terrain. Die! Leave me alone! Oh no, I should help. I jumped into action, catching them by surprise. All of the tiny raptors ran away in fear. Ha! Piece of cake. Uh, who are you? You dare to mess with the magma raptors? You will die for that. His hits were tough, but I knew not to give up. We were hitting each other blow for blow until I used my fire bite harder than ever, which knocked him down for good. He was defeated, and from it emerged special fire orbs. They all gravitated towards me, and once I absorbed them, my body began to change. I grew more teeth and got a little bigger in size, gaining five more hearts. I also gained a new magma slash ability. Sweet! Hey, thanks for the save, friend. Of course! What were those things? They were the Magma Raptors, the first of five dangerous animals that work for Director Claw. Seems as though you grow stronger with each one you defeat. In that case, I'm gonna go out and defeat all five so I can take down Director Claw's entire operation. The man is pure evil. I'll be happy to help. My name is Boris, and yours? You can call me Bozo. On day four, Boris and I decided to make this place our headquarters. If I wanted to take down these dangerous bosses, I had to make sure I was prepared. I built my house up tall to make sure people knew that it was the home of a T-Rex. I looked over at Boris and noticed that he made himself a home as well. After we both finished, I made myself a nice prize room for each of the five bosses. That's one down, four more to go. Before I could celebrate for too long, I heard a loud engine going on. What is that? I walked out only to see a jeep driving by the valley. Oh no, I better go check out what's going on. On day five, I reached the jeep and it looked like they stopped at a burial site. What are they doing here? I watched as they threw something down a hole. Hey, I, uh, what was that? This thing's useless. No way will it make Director Claw any more powerful. 
Let's bury it and head out. The men then placed a bunch of dirt over the ground. Won't make him more powerful? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I accidentally stepped on a branch. Oh, no. We may have company, Jerry. I know I heard something. Doesn't matter. Lunch is ready. Let's head out. I'm starving. Oh, I hope it isn't roast beef again. I hate roast beef. That was close. I ran over to the ground and decided to dig it up. Once I did, a baby skeleton dinosaur jumped out. Ah! Oh my, you scared me. Well, sorry, I was scared myself. Those men threw me out because I was a failed experiment. Erector Claw is really a horrible man. Oh, trust me, I know. I'm trying to stop him by defeating all five of his dangerous bosses. You know, I think I may know something about the next boss, but I may have lost my thinking bone because my memory feels a little bit, uh, fuzzy. If you help me find my bone, maybe it'll come back. Okay, skeleton, you have yourself a deal. Now... Where do I start looking? On day six, I searched the nearby area, trying to find the skeleton's thinking bone. Come on, come on, where can it be? I then found a small camp made in the middle of a forest. It was being occupied by a pack of mutant wolves. It's my turn, shut up. This is the best tasting bone I've ever had in my life. After a second glance, I noticed that they were fighting over the thinking bone. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. The wolves didn't want to reason with me and instead began to attack. Thanks to my new fire slash ability, I fought back against them and was actually putting up a fight. Because of my fiery skin, the camp around us was also catching fire. With all of my fiery aspects combined, the wolves ran off scared. This guy's a fire freak. With them gone, I was able to grab the thinking bone. Next up, my new skeleton friend. On day seven, I returned back to my base where my new skeleton friend was waiting. I threw him over his bone and he started to feel a lot better. Oh, wow. I think I'm starting to remember again. My name is Scully. Nice to meet you, Skelly. Knowing he would need a safe place, I built him a home near mine and Boris's. I hope you like uh, the aesthetic. Oh, it's perfect. You know, now that I can remember, those bosses you brought up earlier do ring a bell. Each are supposedly the strongest creatures in the world. They call themselves the Prehistoric Five. And believe it or not, I think you were meant to be the Six. I was? That's why Director Claw wanted control over me. While I was trapped in a box, I overheard that they were in talks with the second one, the Mossy Kuko, who resides deep inside the Forgotten Forest. So you're saying if I find that forest, then I find the next boss? Do me a favor and point me in the right direction. I searched far and wide on day eight until I finally reached the entrance of the Forgotten Forest. The trees here were much taller and dense. Yep, this is the right place. I ventured through, hearing various different noises and creatures. This place doesn't seem the safest. I walked until I arrived at a gateway. Am I going in the right direction? I didn't notice, but I was standing too close to a tree, which caused the nearby wood to catch on fire. Oh no, stop spreading, uh, stop. I was doing my best trying to put out the fire, but couldn't seem to stop it. One of Director Claw's gunmen ran in. Uh-oh. Well, looky here. The fire dinosaur. After the mossy cuckoo, are you? Um, no? You can't lie to me. As a direct subordinate of him, he would want to know about this. The gunman pulled out a high-tech weapon. Wait! He blasted it, causing me to teleport. On days 9 to 10, I teleported in a cage. I was high up in some sort of nest, and all around me was a mossy taken over kingdom. I then heard a loud, dangerous roar before I saw a giant neck emerge from the trees, followed by two beaming red eyes. Oh, Fozo, I've known of your existence, but yet... I am still surprised you would come all the way here just to die. Why? Why would you work for a man like Director Claw? He's in control of everything, and he has big plans for this world. But that won't matter because you won't be here to see any of it. Oh yeah? 
Using my fire bite, I broke the cage and landed on the nest. Kuko stared at me menacingly. We began to fight. He charged in on me. I used my fire slash to fight back against him, which caused the nest to catch on fire. Enough of this! Kuko then summoned a bunch of smaller birds, which jumped in to attack for him. Thankfully, they were nowhere near as strong. The longer we fought, the more the fire spread. Now! Now! Kuko died, and just as before, fire essence emerged from his body, causing my increase in strength. I grew larger in scale and gained five more hearts. With my increase in size, I can now shoot out crazy fire projectiles. Sweet! I looked down and noticed that Kuko dropped a tracker of some sorts. Huh, can this lead me to the next boss? I made it back to base the following day, and just like that, another boss is down. I then heard bones rattling near me, and walked outside just to see Skelly and Boris getting along. Oh, Fozo, there you are! I remembered a cool ability I have as a fossil dino! Ch check this out! Skelly then drilled straight underground right below him. I then heard the ground shaking below me. Whoa! And just like that, I got you some iron! Sweet! Skelly gave me some wood along with the iron, and I was able to craft myself some iron tools. I'll be this area's designated miner! Woohoo! After Skelly left, Boris and I went over to his home, where I showed him the item that Kuko dropped. Very interesting. It seems like it leads to a laboratory. Maybe if you go there, you can find out more about the third boss. On days 13 to 14, I followed the tracking device. It would beep faster and faster the closer I got to the location. Okay, it seems like I'm close. I looked forward and saw a laboratory, just as Boris said. Once I was inside the building, I was checking around every corner. Thankfully though, I think I was alone. Alone. I then noticed a bottomless hole right on the floor. I don't want to find out what's in there. Just as I let my guard down, each entryway in the room slammed shut. Oh no, a TV screen turned on. You, Fozo, I knew you would come here. If you don't free my mom, then I'm going to continue to defeat the rest of the prehistoric five. Oh. Kuko and the Magma Raptor? Oh, please. Anyone can get past those. They are nothing compared to the K Sentinel, the Lava Tooth Tiger, or especially the Ice Pithecus. I heard the room starting to beep and noticed a light flashing red. What is that? Ready to detonate in T minus one minute. What? You're probably wondering why I'm doing all this. It's quite simple. You see, I want control. I'm the one who brought the creatures back knowing they would be the strongest. If I were in control of them, then what does that make me? The strongest? 20 seconds. It's nothing personal, but all failed experiments must be disposed of. Oh no, I have to get out of here. I looked at the hole in the room. Knowing I would be doomed either way, I decided to jump through. Ah! I landed in a weird looking cave on days 15 to 16. Whoa, that was a close one. I heard a noise and realized I landed near another dinosaur. Hey, you're like me. Ah, uh, a T-Rex. Wait, the dinosaur started to run away. Hey, uh, come back. I chased after him until he led me to their camp. Great, you led him straight here, you idiot. Yeah, now he's gonna eat all of us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna eat any of you guys. Uh, you aren't? No. After a second glance, I realized that they were freezing to death. Using my fire slash, I ignited their campfire for them. There you guys go. What happened to you? We had to run away from our main homeland because of the cave sentinel's minions. Wait, that's one of the bosses. Yeah, those jerks forced us underground because of Director Claw's mission. It feels like now we have no place in this world. Well, I'm here to help. 
can you lead me back to your home? On day 17 to 18, the Panakasauruses led me straight to their home. Be careful, Fozo. These guys are deadly. I was about to enter, but immediately heard a set of tiny feet crawling around. Wait, not one set. Oh no. A bunch of tiny centipedes emerged through the destroyed homes and started making their way towards me. Ah! Uh, stay back! Their attacks weren't that strong, but when they were all together, it definitely added up fast. I knew with only my fire slash, I wasn't gonna put up a fight. But thanks to my upgrade, I was able to shoot out fire wherever I liked. It was taking down the centipedes one by one until they were all down. Ha! Take that. Just wait when our queen hears about this. Their queen? I'm guessing that's the third boss. I just can't wait to meet her. I looked at where the last centipede died and noticed that it dropped a strange stone artifact. Huh, I wonder what this is. Because the dinosaurs' homes were destroyed, on days 19 to 22, I decided to bring them all back home with me. I used all of the resources I had in hand, and around me, I built them up some nice dino-themed houses. There you guys go. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you, kind T-Rex. Us dinosaurs specialize in food. We here will help make sure your base stays fed. Excellent. Thanks. I then heard a weird aura noise coming from the stone I picked up. Um, what does this mean? I ran over to Boris's house and quickly showed him the artifact. My goodness, Fozo, that is the ancient artifact of Heros. This type of technology is very ancient. Well, whatever it is, maybe it can help lead us to the next boss. Boris then quickly walked over to me and took the item. From there, he activated it. My mind then drifted out fast into the sky. I then heard a strange voice talking to me. This is the gateway you dare wish to find. Whoa, that was weird. What was it? Boris, I think this stone just show me where I can find the next boss. On days 23 to 26, I followed my instinct, which led me to a cave underground. This place matched my vision. I kept going until I found it. A giant closed off entry. Great. How am I supposed to get in there? I walked over to the door and tried everything in my power, even blasting it with my fire abilities, but nothing worked. A rumbling noise then came from my inventory. What the? I threw the stone artifact down, and out came a stone-looking being? Um, hi. Try the artifact. Dinosaurs really do have the brain the size of a peanut. Hey! I shut the artifact up by grabbing it and threw it as hard as I could at the door. Ow! The door then slammed open. I walked through and was met with a long hallway. I had no time to check my surroundings because the ceiling above me started to cave in. Oh no! I was running fast with the ceiling falling behind me. Thankfully, I barely made it. Phew! Who dares awaken the queen? Um, pizza delivery? The guard didn't listen though, and threw a punch at me. Ah! Before he could throw another, a loud whisper was heard throughout the cave walls. Allow entry. I want to kill this trespasser myself. The guard listened and granted me passageway inside. You are a dead man. On days 27 and 29, I walked through a hallway until I entered an opening inside of a cave. Welcome. I heard a voice echo and feet crawling throughout the walls. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. From the depths crawled out a giant centipede. The fire dinosaur. I shall rid you of this world for Director Claw. Once complete, then I will be placed at the top of the order. Yeah, we'll see about that. I shot at the centipede first, which caught it by surprise. Unfortunately, the insect was extremely fast and used this to its advantage. It would slither around and bite me continuously. Ah, uh, stay away. I did my best, stunning it with my fire slash and shooting it with my fire ability. Its attacks were strong, but I knew I had to do what I could in order to stop it. After a tough battle, I was finally able to take the beast down. No! 
I absorbed all the fire orbs around me, which caused me to upgrade again. I was now a full-sized fire T-Rex and had five more hearts. I also noticed that I had a new fire NATO ability. Whoa, this will definitely come in handy. On days 30 to 34, I blasted my way out of the blocked off cave entrance. This thing was awesome. Because of it though, some nearby trees caught on fire. Oh no, uh, stop, uh, stop. Hey, Bozo. What? I looked over and saw a group of spiked lizards. Um, hello. Who are you calling spiked lizard? We're dinosaurs. Because of your new ability, you're burning the entire forest down, idiot. Some of us are trying to move here. Move here? What happened to your original homes? The spiked lizards all then brought me to a clearing. Far off past the horizon, some stupid hazmat men came by and raided out the entire treetopia. We lost all of our belongings and sadly, we have nowhere to go. Why would Director Claw's men do that to a random forest? Maybe I can find out. Can you lead me there? The lizards agreed and brought me all the way over to a techie looking camp. What is this? All of this is new. Seems like these men are working on something. Well, it's time I figure out what. On days 35 to 38, I cautiously made my way around the camp. You know, I thought having these crazy animal creations was enough for the doc. But now he wants to become one himself. It's strange, but we gotta follow orders, right? Dr. Claw is trying to become a boss himself, but how? While I was thinking, one of the minions could hear my heavy breathing and slowly turned around to spot me. Um, hi. Ah! Both of them started shooting at me. Ow! With my new fire nado though, I was able to completely disintegrate one of them, leaving his gun on the ground. The other one noticed because he was running away. Thankfully, I was able to catch up to him and corner him. Oh no, please don't hurt me. I won't if you tell me everything I need to know. What is the director planning? He kill me if I said anything. <laughs> Machine? What machine? Before I could think, the minion punched me on the nose and started to run off. Hey, get back here. On days 39 to 41, I chased after the man inside of a laboratory. He ran over to a chest room and now was cornered. I used my fire slash to weaken him greatly. Ah! Now try running again and I'll finish you off. I then looked throughout the chests in the room and found a bunch of weird items. A bunch of apples and some giant teeth? Huh. Hey, wait, wait. That's all my stuff. My lovely, lovely belongings. Wait, so you were worried about this stuff when it was just some fruit? And a tooth. Give that here, bozo. Gee, uh, okay. I threw him over the items and he was very happy. Okay, stupid minion. You're free to go. Thank you. Yeah, get lost, bozo, before we change our minds. Well, that handles that. I just wonder what machine Director Claw is working on. I can tell you're totally heavy in thought right now, but uh, I think I can live with you. We are kind of homeless right now. Of course, follow me this way. I made it back to base with the lizards on days 42 to 44. I was able to find a perfect spot to make them a nice cozy house. There you guys go. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, whatever, bozo. Thanks. I then made my way over to the prize room and added the centipede's head there. Only two more to go. These just keep getting harder and harder though. Good work, Fozo. Seeing all of this work you're putting in, I couldn't be prouder of you. Yeah, man, you are like insanely buff now. Wow, uh, thanks guys. Of course, and I know your father would be proud too. I hope, I lost him too soon. I have to do what I can to not lose my mom. You won't, Fozo, and no matter what, I'll be right by your side to face any challenge you face. Speaking of challenge, the next boss is the Lava Tooth Tiger, the fastest boss there is. Lava Tooth Tiger? Yeah, he doesn't sound friendly. Oh, that guy? I know plenty about him. You do? Yeah, that's where I got this tooth. 
I used to prank this guy all the time and steal his teeth while he was sleeping. You are so weird. Anyway, can you lead me to him? Yeah, of course I can. Just be careful, though. This guy is deadly. On days 45 to 47, I followed the lizard's directions until I reached a large nether portal. Here you go, bozo. Thank goodness this one was large. I don't think I can fit inside a regular one. I walked through and was in the depths of the lava region. Okay, according to the lizards, his lava swamp is somewhere close by. I was making my way north when out of nowhere, the ground below me gave out. Ah! Ow! My head! In front of me was the Lava Tooth Tiger. <laughs> I knew you'd show up. What gave it away? The death of the other bosses or... Silence! If you wish to fight me, then so be it! The Lava Tooth Tiger then dashed at me and hit me with a powerful strike. I used my new fire abilities on him, but because of his lava origin, they weren't doing anything. He was a lot stronger than all the previous bosses, and I knew that there was no way I was gonna win this fight. He slashed me one more time, and I was down to three hearts. You are too confident, Fozo. Arrogant. Weak, I know, because I was the same exact way. It's a shame you came this far only to die alone. He's not alone. Boris, what are you doing? Get out of here, Bozo. Like I told you, I will always be right by your side. Leave now. I did as Boris said, and once I was a safe distance away, I turned around only to see him be defeated by the tiger. Boris, no! On days 48 to 51, I crawled out of the nether, extremely weak. How? I couldn't stop him. And now, Boris is gone. No! I'm sorry, Boris. I'm so sorry. Because of the loss of my friend, I went out and got enough resources to make him a burial site. I found a perfect mountain range that would resemble nothing but peace. You have no idea how much you've helped me. I promise I will do everything in my power to make this right. I then heard movement behind me. Huh? Uh, who's there? As I turned, I saw a gust of movement. Uh, hello? It happened again to the right of me. Show yourself! Out of nowhere, a giant praying mantis appeared in front of me. Who are you? I knew Boris. He was strong. He was noble. And now he's gone. All because... Because why? You weren't strong enough? Enough with the pity. I am here for a reason, dinosaur. Do you wish to grow stronger or not? Of course I do. Good. Then follow me. It's time to train. The mantis led me to an oddly peaceful forest. I heard nothing but birds and the sound of water flowing. It feels so... Clear? Don't burn down my forest or I will kill you. Way to ruin the moment. The mantis made his way over to his main home. The issue with you, Fozo, is you rely too much on your fire. That is why you lost. Well, I am a fire dinosaur. The fire was meant to enhance you, not become you. All things in life must come with a balance. It is time I show you yours. The mantis brought me over to a wide crevice in the ground. That is deep. I want you to make that jump. Make that jump? It's like 10 blocks wide. Shut up and do it. <sighs> okay, I paced back and forth. If I failed, I'll certainly fall to my death. Suddenly, the mantis stepped back and leaped across it successfully. Whoa. Stop thinking. Just be a T-Rex. Feel it within you, within your scales. Use your large legs to your advantage. You are stronger than you think. Okay. I did as asked and jumped at a height much higher than ever before. I did it! Now, we must concentrate on your meditation. Breathe, nice and slowly. Think nothing but the air. I followed the anthropod's instructions, and because of it, everything went white. Where am I? I looked around and saw both of my parents. Mom! Dad! How proud of you I've become. Bozo, my boy. Mom, I promise you, I will get you free. I know, son. I know. Now go and make us proud. On days 57 to 59, Mantis and I made our way back through the nether. Just remember what I taught you, and we will defeat him. 
we were heading over to the Lava Tooth Swamp when we came across a neighboring outpost. It was full of Director Claw's men, and they were all working on a certain machine. Yeah, keep gathering these resources. Director Claw needs every type of resource to make this thing possible. It looked half complete, but there was enough of it for me to make out exactly what his plan was. He was going to make a mechanical T-Rex. Oh no. I wanted to go in there and stop their plans, but there were way too many people in there. Don't forget why we are here. You're right, Mantis. Let's keep going. On day 60 to 62, Mantis and I arrived back at the lava swamp. My, my. You've actually come back for more. I'm here to finish this. How amusing. I shall kill you just as I did your mammoth friend. The tiger and I both clashed. He used his speed to his advantage, but thankfully, so did I. I would jump super high using my dinosaur legs and smash down over him. His attacks, though, were still extremely strong, but thankfully, I had Mantis there with me, being faster than anything I've ever seen before. Whoa. No, no. This can't be happening! Together, the Mantis and I were able to fully defeat the tiger. And that was for Boris. He dropped his fire orbs upon his death, which upgraded me into a more powerful T-Rex. I gained five more hearts and now had a new ability that allowed me to summon giant explosions at will. One more boss and Director Claw is going down. Mantis and I arrived back to the valley on day 63 to 65. I suppose a temporary temple can be built for me here. You are just so grateful, aren't you? I went around and collected as much resources as I could. With them, I was able to build up a nice looking temple just for my new best friend, Mantis. Yes, this should definitely do. Thank you, dinosaur. And hey, Good work with your training. You? Saying something nice? No way. He does have a heart. Mantis quickly left inside of his home. I guess he really doesn't like to show his emotions that much. I went over to my prize room. And just like that, four out of five. This guy was tough. I don't even want to know how difficult the last boss will be. Ah! No, no, no! Get off me! What? Uh, what's that? I ran over, only to see a pack of mutant wolves taking Skelly. Someone save me! Shut up. You're gonna be a great meal. I'm already dead, you idiot. Oh no! I better go get him before they really do eat him. I ran over as fast as I could. On day 66 to 68, I followed the screaming, which surprisingly... Oh, the horror! Wasn't that hard. I made it to a new type of wolf den. Jeez, these guys really do move quickly. Oh, we're going to eat you up. Yeah, I can't wait. Shut up, Jim. I ain't sharing. You're not getting nothing. Before the wolves could do anything to Skelly, I ran in and jumped in between them. Great, this guy again. I thought I already talked to you guys about this. Enough is enough. I used my fire nato, which caused them to take damage and panic. Wait, it's not our fault, you know. We're literally bone wolves. We love bones. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess you guys are right. It doesn't give you a reason, though, to attack my friend like this. You need to leave him alone. Yeah, I'm a person with feelings and emotions. All right, all right. That's enough. If I find you guys some more bones, do you guys promise to leave Skelly alone? The wolves nodded. Okay, guys, follow me. On day 69 to 73, I brought the mutant wolves over to a biome that I thought was suiting for them. Look around, guys. It's paradise. Oh my gosh. This is perfect. I had no idea there were bones this massive. Well, hopefully now you guys can never go hungry. I hope you like it. Like it? We love it. Hey, because you helped us, we overheard some loud technology sounds coming from Director Claw's operations site. Thought you should know. You know, I think it's time I find out exactly what he has up his sleeve. On days 74 to 79, I made it back to Director Claw's main park. Man, the last time I was here was when... Never mind. I 
have to stay focused. I made my way inside and heard lots of heavy machinery going on. What can this be? I then made it into a room and was able to find... Mom! Uh, thank goodness! I've been worried sick! Fozo, my boy, how much you've grown. I tried to break her free, but for some reason, I couldn't break any of the cage. Ugh, I promise, I'll do whatever I can to get you out of here. I know, son, just be careful. Claw is planning something big. That's when I turned and walked over only to see a giant mechanical T-Rex that was almost done. Oh no. You idiots! Speak of the devil. I sent you all in there to help, and what did you do? Run away? Sorry, sir. That fire dinosaur is just getting too strong. I don't care how strong he's getting. It won't matter once this machine is ready. Don't you understand? Go out to the final boss, Pithecus. He's the most powerful one. And do not let that T-Rex win. All of his minions then all collectively left. I looked back over to my mom and knew following this group was probably the only way I could find the final boss. I promise, Mom, I'll be back for you. I quickly left and followed the group of soldiers. On days 80 to 85, I followed the men into a very cold tundra. Okay, this place is a lot colder than it looks. They all walked into a gateway leading to a giant frozen over kingdom. Can this entire place be owned by the final boss? I looked at the front gates and knew that there was no way I could make it inside of there. It looked way too heavily guarded. I have to find another way in. I was roaming around the outside of the kingdom, looking for any alternative entryways, but there was nothing. Right as I was about to give up, I heard a loud scream. What is that? I ran over to the sound and came across a wide frozen lake. In the middle of it was a goose? Help me, help! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you all right? Do I look all right? The forest used to be my home. I also swim in these very waters. But as soon as that stupid ice gorilla appeared, everything got frozen over. Wait, so if this was your home, then you should know this place inside and out, right? The goose nodded, and I had an idea. I used my fire nado ability. This caused the entire thing to turn back into water. Oh my, thank goodness. How can I ever repay you? The king nearby? You wouldn't happen to know of a secret way in, would you? On days 86 to 90, the goose led me to an alternative entry. This one wasn't being guarded at all. Perfect. Be careful. It is said the ice pithecus can transform region into icy tundra with blink of an eye. I entered the kingdom and snuck my way through as best as I could until I was met with the main courtyard of it. Waiting before me was the Ice Pithecus himself. I'm not going to lie, Fozo. I'm actually quite impressed with you. Taking out all four of the bosses. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah? Well, you know why I'm here then. To take you down and stop this entire operation. You are blinded by your emotions, and for what? You are a T-Rex, a monster. I will give you one last chance to join us. You are the one here who is the monster. We both clashed. His icy powers were tough. I never felt as cold as I did right now. I gave you a chance. I can't give up. Not now. Not with everyone counting on me. While fighting, I noticed ice hanging from the ceiling. Okay, Fozo. Let's hope this works. With one final fire shot, the ice block came tumbling down right onto him. No! Just like that, he was defeated. And because of it, I gained 10 more hearts and upgraded one final time. My eyes were now consumed with fire. And I felt the strongest I've ever had before. With my final form, I was granted the Lantern of Blazing Souls. Whoa, I wonder what this thing does. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Now all that's left is Dr. Claw himself. On days 91 to 94, I made it back to the valley. So yeah, that's why I'm made out of bones. That 
literally makes no sense. It was nice to see everyone getting along. I arrived at the prize room, and Mantis was there waiting for me. I sense that the last boss has been defeated. Good work, Fozo. Thanks, Mantis. I then walked over and placed the last prize skull, which sent out a burst of flaming aura throughout the room. Because of this, I got summoned into another vision. Boris! Hello, Fozo. I see you've grown stronger and stronger. How proud you have made me. Listen, I, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have sacrificed yourself for me. It's okay. Director Claw is all of our problems. And now it's up to you to finish this. Don't let the world down, Fozo. Make them proud as you have made me. I will, Boris. I will. I think it's time, Fozo. It's time to end Director Claw. And from the sound of things, it seems as if he finished his project. It's the director. It has to be. On days 95 to 99, I ran over to Director Claw's main base of operations. The closer I got, the louder the alarms were going off. Oh no, this isn't good. I quickly ran in, only to see a bunch of guards there standing in my way. It's the fire dinosaur! The men all started to attack me with their weapons, but thanks to all of my upgrades, none of them stood a chance against me. I also was able to take out ones from the good distance using my fire shot. I triggered my final upgrade, which sent out a bunch of lava minions. They would fly into the air and attack the nearest targets, destroying them. Whoa! I was able to take down the last one, and as soon as I looked up, I saw my mom in the distance. Mom! Bozo. Oh my goodness, I told you I would come back for you. I just stand back. Using my fire lantern, I was able to shoot a hole right into her cage, freeing her. My goodness, son, you have grown so much. I know, mom. After what happened to dad, this man, he has to be stopped. Oh, do I? Director Claw was standing there inside of a giant mechanical T-Rex. I knew those bosses would be a disappointment to me. No matter what, I won't let you win. He shot at me and began to chase me out of his base. On day 100, Director Claw chased me out to an open area. Enough running, you pest. Pest? That's all we are to you, right? Just a bunch of animals? Insects? Just for your mission. We have emotions too, you know. Director Claw got angry at me and began to blast me with his mech dinosaur. Ah! His attacks were strong, but thanks to my upgrades, I was able to take them and hit him with everything I had. Take that! I have spent my entire life not feeling strong enough. My father never believed me. He never thought I had what it took. Well, only if he would look at me now. I'm sure your dad would be ashamed of you right now. I used my fire nato and stunned Director Claw's mech machine. Once he was stunned, I pulled out my lantern and shot out fire orbs that targeted him directly. Ah, no, it can't be. How are you so strong? Because I'm not just fighting for me, Director. I'm fighting for all of us, all of the people you've harmed. Just then, I triggered my fire no! shot. Director Claw and his mission were gone, giving all animals and creatures in the world a chance to be free.